Road crews have been working at night for the last 10 days, repaving Mapes Road. Mapes has been open and drivable, but in rough shape. Resurfacing is continuing, and final paving and striping is expected to start this weekend. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month. Get ready to recycle your electronics. And we check in with the Installation Safety Office. These stories and more, but first, the Fort Meade Armed Services Education Center held an open house this week after moving from their old office on Zimborski Avenue. The new facility is a greater place for an individual to come. It's right near the Kimbrough Army Medical Center. They can come in, sit down, talk to a counselor, talk to the various representatives from colleges and universities. We have lots of colleges and universities that we work with. It's not exclusive to just these three. We want the community to know that we're here to support them. Anderson adds that just about everybody at some point in their life or career will want to further their education. I just think that everybody reaches their, their certain points in their life where they say their education is extremely important to them and then they move out and take care of the responsibilities of getting that education, not only for the position but for their own personal self-satisfaction. We encourage the community to come see us. In other news, October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month. The Fort Meade Equal Employment Opportunity Office invited guest speaker Keith Nolan for this year's observance. Nolan, an advocate for the deaf and hard of hearing, was an ROTC cadet and has spent the last few years working to find a place for the hearing impaired in today's military. Can Americans with disabilities who have grown up from birth with a disability, can they and or should they enlist? in the military. This is the proverbial question that we have. Nolan says that there's already a precedent for the hearing impaired to serve. The NGA, uh, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, provided. They have deployed people that are deaf to go and analyze intelligence overseas um, in the armed forces, deployed for combat forces. They, where they would collect and work together. And so we do have a precedent. The OD has already been doing it. Elsewhere, Fort Meade Environmental is hosting an electronics recycling event. It's coming up Wednesday, November 17th from 9 to 1 in front of the commissary. You can get rid of your old computers, phones, cell phones, answering machines, printers, faxes, electronic gaming systems, and most of your audiovisual equipment free of charge. There is a fee for some items, including CRT monitors and televisions, computer hard drives, and backup batteries. For a full list, check out the flyer that's posted on our Facebook page. Once again, the electronic recycling event is November 17th. Meanwhile, November is Military Family Appreciation Month. MWR has a lineup of events starting on November 7th with a free day of aerobics all day at Gaffney Gym. Tuesday, November 8th is the date for this year's Army-Navy game. The tailgate starts at 3 with some free food. The kickoff starts at 4 o'clock. LTS is offering a movie discount on the 9th. Enjoy free wings at Club Meat on the 10th and bowling specials on the 11th. Stop by the Post Library between November 7th and 10th to register for a great prize giveaway. For more information, go to www.mead.armymwr.com. And finally on this edition, Halloween is coming up, and I'm not sure who looks forward to it more these days, adults or kids. Whatever the case, Installation Safety Officer Kirk Fector has a message for the young and old. Naturally, there's the safety considerations. You're walking down the street and you don't want the little kids to run in the street. That's pretty obvious. But there's also security things. You don't want to go to neighborhoods that you're unfamiliar with or people. So that's a, a security thing. There's also the health thing. Some people want to give you like apples, but you don't know where they came from or other types of food. So the best type of food is what's wrapped, you know, that you usually buy at the store and hand out. And then one of the biggest things about safety is supervision. So when you have parents, that helps on everything else. And then there's the other things you don't think about, the costumes that can block vision, uh, the, the materials of the, of the, because people have candles walking around, so if you don't have flame retardant uh, costumes, you can run into problem that way. So the big thing is total awareness and think about not just safety, but the health and the security uh, the entire time. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.